one of the jokes with my with my my podcast about middle school is that I didn't really I didn't finish middle school I didn't I didn't attend high school so so I because um, I was working mm-hmm. and um, what age did you uh, did you leave middle school twelve officially and I wow. was in seventh grade then okay um, didn't finish my seventh grade year didn't I skipped eighth grade and started homeschooling as a ninth grader which was completely and utterly meaningless um, uh, the particular like. I don't know, like government assisted program I was in, got a computer, yeah. you know, yeah. um, which was the thing that was, you know, got a desktop. Soon after I took uh, a, a proficiency exam that gave me the equivalent in, a, in California state to, uh, to, a, to a high school diploma so I could actually work adult hours ah. and wouldn't have to do the whole tutor thing, which to be honest was preferable because it's like when you're working on set you then have to do these three hours of you know i've always been really suspicious of that and <clears throat> i've been most of my career has been doing uh, obviously working in uh this this variety format so i haven't i haven't been exposed to that but the few times that i've been on a set and i've seen kids leaving to go be there with their tutor yeah. and then uh being released from the tutor so they can come back and run away from the dinosaur or whatever they're <laughs> supposed to do. It always felt like this can't be great. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah it's, defi- it's, it's definitely not. And so, you know, whatever family decisions we were and weren't making, I mean, my, I think my, my mom did make some good, if as long as I was going to go on this path, I actually think it was the right way because it helped me to remain, like, excited to to learn because I was not having like toxic learning experiences partly because I didn't finish middle school or go to high school. You know, I actually right. always have retained the just utter joy of reading, yep. you know, um, all, yeah, just like it. And, and, and I think working also gave me so many experiences that acted like a, another kind of education. So I don't, I mean, it's, it's weird uh, on one hand. I mean, I don't, it's, it really is my academic path on paper basically stops at 12 years old and then yeah, but, uh, yeah. you know it's interesting because i think uh i think a love of reading conquers all i agree with that and yeah. um i stumbled upon this great quote the other day from gertrude stein i don't and, know who that is i didn't uh er, <laughs> I didn't go, I, I <laughs> yeah early modernist uh sure. you know uh helped hemingway get his start living in paris anyway um but gertrude stein said uh um, uh, at the end of the day, and I'm misquoting her, but basically it was at the end of the day, an education may not be very important at all. And hmm. um, I, 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 and I took that to mean it really is what you yourself, it's, it's how you educate yourself in so many ways uh, that can make up for anything. I mean, there are people that have tons of education and don't know anything, and there are people who educate themselves. And I think yeah. reading is uh, just being curious, just being curious Absolutely. about yeah. the world and reading books um, can, you know, some of the most brilliant people I've met, I don't even know where they went to college or if they went to college, mm. uh, they, but they're you know, autodidacts, they just teach themselves things and um, I'm really in awe of them because you know, in our country obviously we get really obsessed with extremely yeah. Ex- you know where'd you go to school mm-hmm. you know and um and i think there's so much education that you can do for yourself yeah i mean i, I it also seems to me i mean you went to an incredible university i, I feel like ev- everybody's report from from school is has to do a lot more with life experience i, th- yes. I think right Def- I mean, no definitely yeah. i i can't um one thing everybody knows about me is that I went to Harvard, and I'm I worked really hard in high school to go there. I was interested in going to a, a good college. I was really uh, I'm proud that I got in. Um, I can't tell you what I learned there mm. uh, that I retain today. What I remember are the people. I remember meeting lots of interesting people, some of who, many of whom are still my friends to this day. I remember getting interested in comedy. I was always interested in comedy, but finding an outlet for it there. I'm very clear. I'm very clear with my kids that uh, it was not. It's not Hogwarts. You don't go to these schools and they impart some magical spells to you that then take you on in life, and you're a great sorcerer. 
um, and you get an owl. I'm going to keep going with this. Oh, please. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, Snape's involved. Um, I think that's enough. Okay, I think it's... I'd like to hear more. I don't know. I don't, I don't get this every day, so okay. I, know you, I know you're sick of it. <laughs> there are different right. houses, you know. Yeah, okay. great. And, uh, How many? Okay. Well, it's interesting you say. There's, <laughs> Sly- <laughs> there's Slytherin. <laughs> By what name? Please do. <laughs> but, um, but I do think it's, you know, I, and like I say, I, I, I think one of the great... My great education in my life has been uh, stumbling around, making mistakes in mm. the real world, humiliating myself, having some things go well, some things go terribly. Uh, that has been my education, and I, I'm, you know, I, I do. I sometimes feel badly that uh, we have this. There's all this pressure on kids today. I think that you, you know, that. Uh, there are certain schools that have the golden key. Yeah. And you, if you don't get to those schools, you cannot move forward. And I think of all my heroes who didn't go to school or went to a school I, I don't know or were terrible students, flunked out, and uh, they have you know, achieved spectacular things. And it's, mm. it's another thing that would probably come up on your podcast because I, I see it so much is how much pressure there is on – 15, 16, 17, 18 year olds, you know, to schools are so much more competitive now than they were uh, when I was applying. I don't think I'd get into any of these schools now. They're, they're, uh, it's amazing. And there are kids, you know, kids are competing against everybody. They're competing against the very best kids in the entire world, in China and India. And it is very, very, very difficult. And I think it's, it's a lot of pressure for a really young kid to have. It really is, and then also once you get out, and I mean, what just the relevance of a degree now, and just how many? I don't even know. You know, people say something like, "Do people say the job market anymore?" Is that a? <laughs> I mean, but I feel like I used to hear that a lot. Used now, to hear it. And now, now <laughs> after COVID, it's like it's, uh, you know, no one. No else. one has said job market in three years. <laughs> I don't know why we're laughing. <laughs> well, it's everything's the, crumbling it's the around mask us. The pain. It's yeah, the mask, mask the pain. Yeah. 